this imaginative student is now adding an eye patch to his costume to begin a new adventure. This red eye patch over just one eye should remind you of the unilateral searing retroorbital pain associated with cluster headache. Additionally, cluster headache can also present with unilateral autonomic symptoms like tearing and rhinorrhea, as well as Horner syndrome, which is a triad of meiosis, ptosis, and anhydrosis. Diagnosis is clinical, but the first presentation of a cluster headache warrants an MRI to rule out other more dangerous causes of a headache. And the treatment for cluster headaches involves high flow oxygen, as well as triptans and calcium channel blockers. Now the student's eye patch seems to have obstructed his vision and in his play acting, he has managed to trip one of his classmates. Now that poor student is lying on the ground and clutching his beaker full of chemicals. And in his descent, the beaker has come dangerously close to his face, and he is forced to inhale the beaker's fumes. This student inhaling toxic fumes while clutching the back of his head should remind you of carbon monoxide poisoning, another cause of a headache. Now, carbon monoxide is a gas produced by heaters or car exhaust, and when inhaled, the carbon monoxide binds to red blood cells with an affinity 200 times that of oxygen, which then prevents the dissociation of oxygen from the red blood cells and causes hypoxia. And diagnosis of carbon monoxide poisoning involves a thorough history as well as testing the serum for carboxyhemoglobin levels. And the levels greater than 5% in a non-smoker and 10% in a smoker are considered positive for carbon monoxide poisoning. And treatment includes inhalation of 100% oxygen through a face mask or hyperbaric oxygen. And that treatment really depends on the severity of the disease. Uh-oh, it looks like our adventurous student is causing even more troubles. He has launched a tomato that has splattered right onto the head of another classmate. Now the red tomato juice is running down his face as a result. Now the red tomato juice is here to remind you of the color of blood, while the tomato hitting the head of that student is here to remind you of trauma. So this idea of a tomato head hit and oozing red juice should make you think of traumatic bleeding in the brain or traumatic intracranial hemorrhage, a life-threatening cause of headache. Notice that the tomato pulp running down his face is on the opposite side of the tomato. This idea should remind you that focal signs, such as facial droop or weakness, will be located contralateral to the brain lesion due to crossing over of neurological tracts as they travel from the brain to the spinal cord. Hemorrhagic strokes are diagnosed with a non-contrast CT scan of the head, and treatment involves aggressive blood pressure management, reversal of anticoagulation, assuming they're on it, and endovascular coiling, and sometimes surgical evacuation of the hematoma. Now let's take a closer look at what this boy is holding. It looks like a Dumbo stuffed elephant with a notably large head in proportion to the rest of its body. And the elephant is our recurring symbol for encephalitis.